Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Chris and I are outside of the beautiful Jupiter Inlet today. We've caught about a dozen or so uh, sardines. We're gonna head out to about 250 feet of water and see if we can find any debris or some weed line uh, to try to maybe get on some mahi, uh, maybe some wahoo. We'll see what we can get on today. And uh, we'll head in a little bit more shallow later on through the day. So let's see what we can catch. Make sure that you guys like and subscribe to the channel. Uh, we, really, we really appreciate it. And let's see what we can get on. Ready? Yeah. Why would the bait want to come if there's a big old hammerhead That's shark right here? You see all this bait, guys? Tons of bait, but it's all being chased by predator fish. And a if you were hammerhead shark, we just saw a huge hammerhead shark swimming by. So if you had a big old hammerhead shark chasing you, would you want to eat? Probably not. <laughs> pretty awesome, though. Probably not, but it is pretty awesome. I love hammerheads. It's my favorite shark. Ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Oh That's okay. Couple's good. Right into the live well. No, you got a you got a good stringer full. You got three. Back down, back down, back down, back down, back down. Yep. Oh, I see tons of them. Yep. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, I have any yeah, I see. Yeah, I was gonna say I see some, some fluttering. We don't need it. Oh yeah, I got it. Go, go. What do you want? Here they come. Yep, yep. Get them, honey. Get them. I got like two. Cool. I like to. What? You had to. Okay. Look at that flip. That was awesome. <laughs> yeah, they're right down oh, below I you. Got one on. Yeah, yeah, uh, two, two. You got two, two. Bring them in. Perfect. Go. No, I don't see them. That's okay. They're coming back. <laughs> they all scatter. Yeah, they come back. They're still getting chased over here, but at least they're eating a little bit. Ooh, ooh, yeah. Predator? Oh, yeah. Okay, time is it. Ridiculous. There's another one. That's him. Oh, yeah. He's That's him. He's not asshole. that big, though. Okay, bro. It's like a big sailfish bait. All right, time to head in. All right. All right. All right, guys, just ran across this piece of bamboo. Saw a nice bull dolphin just swimming right around next to it. So we're gonna take this Dean. I'm gonna throw him on out there. Oh my God, we got a ton of bar jacks attacking. Let's see if we can get away from them. Probably not. No, he's getting eat up by the bar jacks. Dang it. We might have to put a bigger bait on. He was literally floating on that log. I wanna come. I want to come right up on it. I think I've got a bar jack on anyway. That's the problem. Yeah, I've got I've got junk on. I've got a blue runner. over to that log over there. Hopefully get Mr. Mahi to eat. Hey 
Ding the horn. Too, but. Yep. Nice one. Huh? I said that was a nice big one. Yeah, see they're eating this this poor sardine. Oh never mind, he's on it. He's on it. He's on it. Oh shit. Let it go. I had I had the Mahi. Here he is, here he is. I've got a bar jack on. That's the problem. That mahi's under the boat. He's getting eaten by something. Hopefully not a bar jack. Trying to keep all these fish off of my bait. That's the log we saw the mahi under. Yeah, I'm tangled in the log and something's eating him. Oh, it's a triple tail. Nice triple tail. That's a keeper. Shit, we might try to catch him. Oh, we're, we've got a triple tail on. That's why we're tangled in the log. We might have a, we might have a keeper here. Keeper triple tail. Yeah, go ahead and uh, see if you can just pop. No, 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 just pop it. Pop that, pop that line off that stick. I think we got a keeper triple tail. No, honey, let go, let go. Just, just try to get it off the stick. That's definitely a keeper triple tail, and those are delicious. Okay, honey, let go. What do you want me to I, do? I, wanted, I just wanted to get you. Yeah, he's wrapped up. Okay. Yeah, hang on a second. You're, you're doing the right thing, and I'm getting you all messed up. I'm sorry. Let me just grab this dude. Yeah, get him in. He looks delicious. Yeah, he is delicious. Prehistoric monster. Oh, uh, that is our first triple tail. And then I'll hopefully see if you can get rid of that. Well, yep, there's, you a did. Lot of, there's a lot of life, life on it. There's that. a lot of life on it. There's another triple tail on it, too. But, uh. Wow, what's the minimum for that? Uh, here, can you take this? I'm going to let you know here in a second. Triple tail, minimum size 15. He's like so he's going in the box because he is going to be a fantastic dinner because he's probably like 20. That is a monster triple tail. Fatty. That's a fatty for sure. Okay, be like this. Nice triple tail. Okay, what do we got? 17. Yep, he's a keeper. 15 was the minimum. 15's the minimum. In the ice you go. In the ice you go. Nice job, baby. Thank you, the Thank you for the help with the log. Thank you for the help with the log. So that's what happened is he ate it. Uh-huh. And uh and then yeah, they that's what they like to do is just sit under the log. Some more um, back here. No. Okay. Fantastic. Yeah, you did. Oh yeah, they're down there. There's another triple tail and there's still a mahi mahi around. Big He's around. Mahi. A big mahi. He's around. No, you idiots don't eat the hook. There's a school of schoolies right there. Mm -hmm. Just them. peanuts though. I, the big ones down there too. We need to get, we need mm -hmm. to get stuff in the water. Mm -hmm. Those are mini. Those are baby mahi. Baby mahis. Yeah, but we just seen a big dude. 
Yeah. That big dude will come back. Gotcha. Oh, had you. Gotcha. This is a big old mahi bait right here. That's a big old mahi bait. Alright, let's see it. You said you had the mahi on. I did. I did. Briefly, I think I did. Right there. That sun is brutal right I now. know it is. Freaking brutal. There's a mahi. There's there's the bull. There's the bull right here under the boat. Right here under the boat. Mm -hmm. Huge. Nothing we can do about it. Nope. Wow. Dang it. You got a big bait on. Okay, good. Oh, there you go. Okay, we got another big bait. I'll put a wire on. Pull, reel it in. See if your see if your hook is gone. Oh, that's on. That's on. That other one's on. Grab that other one. No, honey, I can't. I'll take this. Reel that in. It's probably in the Oahu. Looks oh, like a no, dolphin. No, no, no. It's it's a another jack. Yeah, you're right. It cut you off. It was a freaking big water. All right. Well, then we're putting some wire on. All right. So Alicia got cut off, and we think there might be a wahooser down there. So we're gonna put this big old blue runner on and we put on a thing of wire and we're gonna toss that out right here by Mr. Log who is right in front of us And see what happens. All right, let's see if there's another triple tail on this uh, sucker. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Something just took it. Something big. That Hopefully that's a mahi. Oh, it is. It's like, it's on, nope, nope. That's a mahi. I know, it just came off. Just me? came off. He might be on you. He just came off of me. On nope, you. nope. You. Shit, he came off. Damn it. Okay, they'll be back. You know what? I'm going to put that jump block out. Those people need to leave. Yes, they do. Now he cut me off. Yeah, that mahi cut me off. Wow, and on a oh, with us with a circle hook too. Okay, there's Mahi down there. I that my I think that was the one. That was I think that was. I think that was the one. Well, we had a nice dolphin on, guys. I think uh, that was definitely seen on videos. Oh yeah, I know. I saw it. I was watching him. I was watching him jump away. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Definitely watching them jump away from me. Which that was... Usually once they bite, that's rare. Yeah, and it, it had a circle hook on, but he must have swallowed it and just chafed me off. That was a good one. Crazy. That was 30 pound mono on, but... That, I could have had a, a mahi on and it took it off too, I guess. Could have been, yeah. Could have been a massive one. Or no, I'm sorry. This is 30 pound fluoro on here. That's 30 pound mahu, but, or mono, but usually we don't have, we don't have cutoffs with uh with mahi water is crystal clear and blue as heck though just looks beautiful all right guys putting a couple mutton baits down we uh we caught one triple tail that nice size triple tail had that mahi on hopefully uh we got that on film if we did you already saw it <laughs> i think i did um but yeah big big mahi i'm pretty sure that was the one we saw swimming around i definitely got that on video so unfortunately you don't catch them all you know that was a nice one 
But uh, we're uh, back in the little mutton spot and see if we can catch a couple of mutton for you. Yep, we'll see what we can catch. The current doesn't feel as bad as it did um, last weekend. Um, I don't know how much weight is on here, 24 ounces again? Uh, that one's got like 18, I think. Ah! Okay. So, yeah. <laughs> oh, Ooh, that's on, that's on, that's on. Get it, get it, get it. I got him. There you go, fish on. And that's the lighter weight. <laughs> that's okay. You're okay, buddy. Come here. Come here. You're okay. Mommy's reeling in a fish. You want to watch her? Mommy was dipping her feet in the water. Yeah, mommy was dipping her feet in the water, and I looked over, and the pole was doubled over. I'm like, oh, we uh, we may want to do something about that. <laughs> Bring them on in, bring them on in. Here, you want to see the fishies? And then daddy will help mommy bring in the fish. There you go, there's a fish in there. You see the fish in there? Let me go behind you, honey. Perfect, yep. Bring that weight to me. You're okay, buddy. You're okay. You're okay. See the You're okay, it'll be coming up soon. <laughs> Alright, what do we got? Mutton? Short, maybe? No, that's a good oh, one. That's a, that's a okay, watch out, watch out, watch out. Let me flip them in. Flip them in right here. That's a nice one. Uh, that's yeah, definitely that's a nice one. Teen, that's definitely a nice one, honey. That's definitely a nice one. All right, guys, here we are back at the fillet table. We got a nice triple tail that you saw that we caught and uh, that mutton. I believe we got that mutton on video. Um, you guys will know because it'll be right before this. I forgot to charge the GoPro batteries, so this will probably be kind of an abrupt cut right to the uh, fillet table here. Um, but you know what? Honestly, it was super hot. It was just absolutely roasting, very little breeze out there. And we caught this nice mutton and pretty much headed in right afterwards uh, after we you know, pretty much figured out that the, uh, the GoPro batteries were all uh, all dead and uh, we had what we had so uh, we made it a short day we're back in by noon and uh, now it's time to cut up some fish so we're gonna have this triple tail for dinner we are gonna do my favorite recipe uh, that's a local restaurant here um, in town called leftovers or little Morris food shack they have two restaurants and they do a sweet potato encrusted fish that is absolutely to die for um, they usually put that over at the top of a salad. Uh, we're going to do a Caesar salad with homemade Caesar dressing that is uh, just as to die for. Um, so stay tuned for that, but let's go ahead and cut up this triple tail and, and get going. So we are going to eat him tonight, and then we're going to fillet up that mutton and eat him afterwards. Probably tomorrow. So this is the first time that I have filleted a triple tail. Dinosaur fish, they call them. But we're going to go ahead and go ahead and cut into him. And just, you know, standard filet, just like we always do. Nothing special with triple tails. So right down the backbone. We're gonna follow his, uh, his backbone all the way down to the tail. Putting pressure on the knife so we don't miss any meat. And then right through the back of the tail there. And then cut. There we go. Now we'll just lift him up. And go right down to the spine as usual and then down the other side I'm gonna angle the knife down and cut down on the other side of the spine he's got some big old ribs on him looks like but that meat looks absolutely fantastic and lots of meat down here in the belly so we're gonna get all the way down Make sure we don't miss anything because triple tail is a treat. This is one of my favorite fish to eat. When, like I said, when I go to Food Shack and they've got it on the menu, oh man, you know I'm ordering the triple tail for sure. So, 
We're gonna go over those pin bones and then just basically follow those ribs down. Hopefully you guys can see that, but I'm just using the knife to follow right down the ribs and just get every single little shred of meat in there. And then we'll just cut down off the bottom. And there we go. Nice slab. Love it. It's delicious. So back over to the other side. And I'll go ahead and speed this process up since you've already seen me do one. All right, some tough skin on those guys, holy crap. But those look delicious. So we are going to go ahead and skin those out. So we're just gonna grab the bottom there. Really tough skin, so I'm gonna put a lot of pressure down on the knife because I know I can get real close to the skin. And then the normal, just slide the knife. Actually, I'm gonna do it in two parts i should have a bigger knife i had my fillet knife was unfortunately dirty but we're making do that's all right that looks fantastic so we'll put that right over on the plate we got a ziploc bag for our mutton There we go. As you can see, no meat, perfect fillets, and those are ready. We'll just trim that off just a little bit, that little bit of belly meat. And those are ready to get potato encrusted. And man, they are gonna be good. So I'll go ahead and fillet up this mutton, but I will meet you guys in the kitchen. We're gonna do the sweet potato and crust and uh, get right to it. Hey guys, welcome back to the kitchen. Um, I am going to go ahead and start preparing the salad portion of the, um, the triple tail that we're gonna have. So this is um, a recipe that I found online for, um, it's Caesar, Caesar salad and it's really really super good uh this is my favorite recipe i won't even uh eat caesar salad out of a bottle no cardinis anymore i refuse it so uh let's go ahead and get into it we're gonna leave the recipe down below for you guys to watch so uh, i'm about to actually pull it up on my phone it's not the actual easiest recipe in the world um and we're gonna double up our recipe because it lasts for about a week in the refrigerator so we're gonna do two teaspoons of garlic it says cloves but it doesn't matter garlic is garlic and we like a lot so yeah, yeah so a little extra no garlic problem. is not a problem <laughs> yep so and i usually put things away i'm really anal about that but we're just going to leave it out and luke's over there having a good time um so we're going to and then we're going to do two teaspoons of anchovy paste here i have a little piece drip but who cares don't skimp on the anchovy paste i know it's it's a classic in caesar dressing and a lot of people leave it out because they're worried it's going to taste fishy or something it really is good um, yeah, and i don't like fishy fish i you know that's why i love triple tail i love mutton snapper all that but yeah i don't do trout i don't do salmon i'm not into fishy stuff and anchovy is very fishy usually but in this dressing it is fantastic so um it says two tablespoons of freshly freshly squeezed lemon so it's going to be four i'm assuming yep uh, so it would be four tablespoons that's yes. a lot yes Seems like a lot of lemon it is a lot of lemon I'm not sure even two lemons will be able to do that, but I'll just get as much as I can in there. There you go. I really don't like the seeds in there. I'm gonna probably go ahead and fish those out. Well, that was enough in there, but yeah, we're gonna fish those out. I'm cooking for my kids, so, and uh, my hands are clean, so it's perfect. 
There's one. Okay, and then we're gonna go ahead and do our other tablespoon of lemon here. And of course, I can't keep the seeds out of it. <laughs> this lemon is not super, super duper ripe, but that's okay. All right, I think that's enough lemon. What do we got next? Next you got Dijon mustard. Next we have Dijon mustard and we need to do tea, two teaspoons of Dijon mustard. So this is super simple. This is a lot of ingredients though. So just make sure that you take your time and make sure I have missed ingredients before on recipes and it can really, it can really hurt the recipe. So just take your time and you know, uh, no rush on the ingredients. It's gonna turn out perfect as long as you follow the instructions. Uh, let's see here. Um, now we're gonna do um, two teaspoons of Worcestershire sauce. Mm -hmm. We do Lee and Parents. I love Worcestershire sauce. It's super yummy. And then, what do we got next? And then I think we we're gonna whisk this together is what it said. And then we're gonna add the mayo. So we're gonna whisk that. And we had a, a a blast out on the water, just going after and getting that mahi on and the triple tail and all that fun stuff. And uh, can't wait to go can't wait to go out again this weekend and uh, try to get on some more mutton. They have just been on fire out there lately, and uh, they're really fun to catch. So, okay, so it says whisk that together, basically. And, and then we're gonna do, <laughs> oh, of course, eat. But I, my favorite part is the catching. Yep. <laughs> um, we're gonna do two, oh, we already have that over here. All right, so we're gonna do two cups of mayonnaise here. And like I said, this is a double batch. So if you were just making some for at home and you're a single person or it's just two of you, um, you could get away with making just one batch of this and making it last a week. So this is just because we have a big family. Yep, and we make extra because this refrigerates really well. And actually, yep. I think it's even better um, in the refrigerator after oh, like a day or two. Super duper good. So yeah, I, I call it melding with, when I make my salsa and stuff, it, it or melds. Even, or even like a soup or a meatloaf. It's always like super duper good, like mm -hmm. the day after, you know, it, everybody knows that. That's, yep. that's an old classic. But yeah, we, uh, we make extra and then we'll do Caesar salads for the next couple of days. And you know, we've got a mutton that we can make uh, tomorrow. So, exactly. you know, the you triple tail is, uh, yeah, triple tail is gonna be really good. I'd say that's close enough. Yep. So we're gonna go ahead and put this in there. Tri then, triple last. tail is a uh, is a treat for us. We don't get triple tails very often. But. No, that was actually, that was actually Chris's uh, first triple tail. So he was really happy to catch that. We've yep. seen them many times before, but that was your first land. That was the first one you landed. That's right. All right, so we're gonna whisk this together and then we're gonna add the Parmesan cheese. And then um, two quarter teaspoons of salt and a little bit of pepper. All right. Okay, and now we're gonna add, I think this and a little bit of salt. So this is um, basically uh, six ounces of grated Parmesan cheese. Yep. Um, I, I think it normally calls for three. So we're obviously, like I said, we're doubling up here. So we're gonna whisk this in. And then it said something about salt. This is like the most amazing freaking Caesar salad ever. It's really good, yeah. Even if you don't wanna put fish on it for some reason, you can put chicken on there and it's like, <laughs> Or just plain old Caesar. Yep, or just plain old Caesar. It's it's delicious. So so we're doing two quarter cups. Woo! Not quarter cups. <laughs> that would be a lot. Two quarter teaspoons of salt. <laughs> it's coming out the sides here. Darn Walmart salt. That's not it, Walmart all, salt. it is Morton. Walmart salt. That's Morton. And they have it at every Walmart. Anyway, we're gonna add salt and then I forget about the, the pepper. It says say the same amount of pepper. Can you hand me the pepper, honey? Sure. All right. Two of those. There you go. Two quarter teaspoons of pepper. And no, 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 no. Oh yeah. Just open it up. There you go. Actually, best way to do it is just to just open it up. Yeah. Like I, said. I don't feel like sniffing that stuff. It's pretty awful. I'm not putting that full amount in. Just, okay, that's fine. I'm not a huge pepper fan. I love lemon pepper. Super duper good. Okay. Well, so basically, we're gonna do this, and then we're gonna 
We like to sprinkle a, a little extra of this shredded Parmesan in. So um, we'll just sprinkle a little bit extra in here. It adds a little bit of extra flavor. Yep, and then we'll reserve a little bit to go right on the top of our salad uh, at the end. So exactly. that's- Exactly. So this is what your Caesar dressing is gonna look like when you're finished. We usually wrap it up, get it in the fridge nice and cold. Mm -hmm. And um, by the time that the fish is ready, we'll pull it out and it's good to go. So we're gonna throw this on top of the salad as soon as the fish is done. So now we're gonna head over with Chris to the, the delicious uh, triple tail portion of the video. Yep. All right guys, so we got our delicious triple tail, yummy. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a sweet potato encrusted. So I shredded just fresh sweet potato. A Shred massive, that all up. Yeah, massive a giant sweet potato. I only used half. <laughs> <laughs> so we've got the pan warmed up. I've got it on about medium because um, sweet potato will actually, it's, it's got a lot of sugar in it, so it will burn. So let's go ahead and put our oil in there because we want to get that nice and, and heated up. So we'll use just enough olive oil to pretty much coat the pan there. Just a tiny little bit more. There we go. Okay. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna dredge this fish. So we're gonna do a flour and egg wash. So we'll just put a little bit of flour into this pan. We don't need a whole lot. That's perfect. Yeah, you're hungry, huh? And then we're gonna season our flour. So we're gonna do a little bit of salt. And then a little bit of pepper. Not a lot because, like Alicia said, she's not a huge pepper fan. So yeah, I like pepper just to an extent. <laughs> we'll just mix that up so we got some nice seasoned flour. And then we've got two eggs from our chickens. So let's go ahead and move that flour out of the way. We've got these two delicious eggs. These are fresh from our coop. So crack those in there. And that's gonna be our egg wash. So we will just mix those up real quick. And then we'll dredge our fish in there. Yeah. And then it's gonna get crusted with that sweet potato right into the frying pan. All right, so first we're gonna do our fish. These big old massive triple tail fillets, these are gonna be so good on yeah. the top of that salad. 100%. It's gonna be crazy. Our 17 year old's gonna come home from work and go dig into a salad here in about an hour or <laughs> <Yep>. so. <laughs> All right, so we've got our, uh, we've got our flour dredge and then we're just gonna, I didn't have a, I needed a bigger bowl, but I couldn't find one. So we'll just kind of slosh this around a little bit. It's no okay. biggie. That's what kitchens are for. That's what it's for. We just need it coated just like that. So I will move this out of the way because this is gonna go. Right on the plate. Right on that plate. There we go. So that one's ready for sweet potato. And then we'll do the next one. Just like that. Side of the way. What are you doing? You watching Daddy? Yep, he's watching us cook. He's our little kitchen helper. Yep. All right, so that's nice coated with flour. Same thing. We're gonna dredge that right in. Get that all nice and coated up with egg wash. And this will make the sweet potato stick. So that's what we want. We want that sweet potato to stick. Now I read some recipes. This this one's like I said, it's based off of uh, uh, Leftovers Cafe here in in, uh, in Jupiter. And um, how many reviews? Oh, thousands. Uh, it is it is amazing. It it's it's like I said, it's one of my favorite places. Let me wash my hands. Just sure. But yeah, it's one of my favorite places to go eat. They have the best salad with the crusted fish over the top. And uh, so I w always wanted to uh, copy that. Now leftovers, they smash it right on the fish. We're gonna try that. Uh, a lot of recipes actually put um, uh, the sweet potato down in the pan, which our oil is ready because of my little bit of water splatter in there. Uh, they'll put the sweet potato directly in the pan mm -hmm. and then lay the fish on the top. So we're gonna give it a shot the proper way and uh, see what happens. 
So what we want to do is grab our sweet potato. We're just going to kind of mash it and get any water out of there and get it nice and dry. And we don't need that egg anymore, so we'll just do it right into our egg wash. And then we're going to take it right onto our fish and we're going to smash it right on there. Smash it on. Smash it on. All right, so there's one. It's we'll like my kind of thing. my kind of cooking right there, sloppy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is this is messy and delicious. Yeah, as long as it's good, I don't so, care. <laughs> a little extra there, so we're gonna smash that one onto that side, and then we're gonna flip these over carefully. Carefully. Well, you got a pretty thick coat on there, so I don't think you have to worry about it. Yeah, and if some comes off, that's no big deal. You yeah. know, we, that's totally under, un, un, understandable. But um, we want to we want to try to uh, keep as, as much, much on. To stay on as possible. Yeah, get as much to stay on because that's going to make that that nice crust, and it's going to be so good. And look at that! I used all the sweet potato. That was yep. great. All so right. We'll just spread that around. Ready to throw it in the pan. And we are ready to throw that right in the pan. So messy hands and all, I don't care. We're going, we're going to smash that down so we get all of the uh, the bottom. Ready or not, on. here it comes. Ready or not, here we go. Yep. Right into that oil. Love that sizzle sound. Mm. Extra on that one. <laughs> and then right on in there. Well, definitely going to leave this recipe um, in the description for you guys, too, on top of the Caesar dressing recipe. Absolutely. Um, this is something that we do very, very frequently in our house, especially now that we're getting ready to go on our another diet kick. Um, I think our second diet kick so far this year. Yeah. So The Caesar with the fish, that's a normal thing for us. We do that a lot. I usually do blackened. Um, so like I said, we're trying something new. Um, yep. This is a little bit lower heat because we don't want that sweet potato to burn. So what we're looking for with this is we're just looking for that sweet potato to get nice and golden brown around the edges. And then I'm gonna grab a spatula. Okay, so how long do you wait till you flip this? So really what we're looking for with this is we're looking for golden brown around the edges. So this is gonna take probably four or five minutes per side. And this is a nice big thick piece of fish. So. Um, so, you know, we're, we're good with, uh, with cooking this, you know, a good amount of time. The sweet potato is going to lock in all that moisture. So that's what's really awesome. And then we'll go ahead and, and flip that over uh, once we start getting a little bit golden brown around the edges. Mm. All right, guys, I think we're about ready to flip. We've got nice golden brown potatoes on the other side. And uh, so we're going to give it a shot here. These are huge fillets. I'm probably going to make a huge mess with this. I, I think he's a little bit scared. I, I am. I, I'm a little intimidated <laughs> with these. They're going to be really good though. But hey, we're going to leave some sweet potato on the on, on the uh, on the pan. That's OK. Oh, it's Let's right. try to give this a shot though. I just don't want to leave all the sweet potato down there and, and not have that nice crust. You're not leaving it. Don't worry. I don't it's see any. Be delicious. Oh my gosh, that's perfect. Ooh, yeah. And that's okay. Actually, that's the color we want. Yeah. Because it caramelizes and turns really sweet. Mm -hmm. So don't be afraid if it's a little bit on the brownish or blackish side, I've even heard. That's oh, I like it like that right. anyway. I like it kind of crunchy. Oh my God, we didn't leave any behind. Well, a little bit, that little tiny piece we did. <laughs> that little blip. That little blip. Okay, that's, that's a money shot right there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that looks fantastic. That is gonna go over the top of our Caesar salad. Another three or four minutes on this side and we are ready to plate. Sweet potato and crusted triple tail going on some Caesar salad. With homemade Yum. Caesar dressing. Homemade Yum. Caesar dressing. I like tomatoes and cucumbers in mine. He likes cucumbers and no tomatoes. I'm weird. Well, I, I love tomatoes, but I don't like tomatoes in my Caesar. So. I know. I, I, I just like tomatoes, period. I think I might so. have a little bit of tomatoes with this one because I think the tomatoes with the uh, with the fish will be really good. Actually, so. I think it will with the uh, the acidity. I think you're right. Exactly. So. Yep. Sometimes you want to add a little bit of acid. So, yep. hey, we're amateur cooks and uh, we, we, we try what we try. And, you know, if it's good, if it's good. So this is a recipe we've never done before. And a lot of times I do those on camera. 
And sometimes I'll mess them up a little bit, but you know what? They still end up tasting pretty good. And so you don't know be what? To sometimes, try yeah, yeah, and sometimes you find amazing things that you yeah. love and they oh, yeah. become a staple recipe in your home. So never be afraid to try new things. Yeah. You might hate it, you might love it, but this looks delicious and it smells delicious. So I don't think we're going wrong with this really one. Good. It's gonna be really good. <laughs> yeah. And especially with that the, the amazing Caesar dressing that you guys absolutely have to try. All right, guys, I think we're good. Let's give it a little check here. We can kind of give it a little test. Yeah, we're perfect. Right. It's golden brown underneath. So we're gonna we're gonna take this whole thing off, put it right on the plate right there. And then I'm gonna cheat a little bit so that I don't spill it all over. Yeah, and it's super, super hot with that oil. And just give it a little extra. It's oh my thing. gosh, Luke is ready to eat. That is absolutely fantastic. All right, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and get my salad prep here. So uh, let's go on over here and get that going. All right, guys, so everything is done. Let's go ahead and get this salad going. I'm starting and uh, can't wait to eat it, so. I'm gonna put a little bit of lettuce here. Like I said, Chris doesn't normally like tomatoes on his Caesar. I like tomatoes, so. And I've got some cucumber here. Luke is starting. Luke's hungry. <laughs> <laughs> and then go ahead and cut into one of those right. fish. I gotta see this. Go ahead and take this nice little chunk here That's on the end. Want? Oh my, I'm, yes. I'm eating like the rest of that. Nice, oh and, my nice and cooked through, nice and juicy. Wow. So as you can see, so that it looks, looks delicious. Good. And uh, we're going to put that right on top. Right on top. Yep. And then I'm going to, I like lots of cheese. So I think I've already pretty much established that. <laughs> yes. Cheese <laughs> fanatic. So dressing right on top of the yeah. fish. I don't like a ton of ton of dressing. Just enough. And then I'm going to take a little bit of extra and just kind of put it on top there and grab my fork. And this is triple tail encrusted sweet potato Caesar salad. Yep. Dinner. That's right. Dinner. <laughs> give it, give it, give it a taste of that fish. I it's probably pretty hot. It's a little hot. So. But yeah, give it a. Well, the, it should cool down if you get some tomato and cucumber oh, yeah. and everything in there. So. Take a big bite. I just hope I can taste the uh, sweet potato in it. So. Hold on, buddy. I'm gonna feed you in just a second. He sees food. <laughs> Mm. Super, super good. It looks nice and moist. I can't wait to dig in there too. Luke is ready. Luke is ready to eat. I can taste the sweet potato. Mm -hmm. It's amazing. Thumbs up from me. Two thumbs up from me. Make sure you guys like and subscribe. We will see you on the next video. We're going to eat. See you yeah. guys later. Yeah.